Hey guys, welcome back. Ever been in a situation where you needed to back up, let's say a DVD that you have, um, to be able to play back on your tablet or even on your phone? Or even been in a situation where you had a file format that you're trying to open, but you can't open it because for some reason you don't have the right player. Well, today we're gonna to take a look at an application, a desktop application made by a company called Wonderfox. It's a video DVD converter that enables us to convert many different formats to useful formats, but not only that, it makes it possible for us to be able to put our DVDs on our actual tablets or mobile devices. Let's go ahead and check it out. And oh, by the way, stay to the end of the video, I have a nice little surprise for you guys. Uh, the first thing I want to do here is I have a few files here that I'm going to be using to actually uh, test out for you guys here, um, as well as I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that I would like to be able to download. And yes, there's an option here to be able to download videos. So as far as adding files and converting, we're going to go through or do maybe just a quick video real quick. Uh, normally, what I normally have this application for is I use it to convert my VLC files or my uh, Flash video, FLV files, over to MPEG-4. Since Adobe Premiere doesn't really recognize FLV, it, it's a little harder when I do screencast Somewhere similar to what I'm doing for you guys right now and then putting that into a video for us to be able to see on YouTube. So I transport the file in here. Of course, it's checked by default. It tells me there's audio connected to it. I don't want to put text, uh, you know, obviously text at the bottom of it. Um, I can edit it if I'd like to and there's a built-in slightly small editor. Gives us the ability to trim the video if you'd like to. Uh, we can also do, uh, you know, basically mirroring it, uh, changing the uh, the mirror, uh, well, actually shortening it to this effect. Uh, we can also mirror the video. You notice here right and left. We can do a rotation on the video in case we, we filmed the video upside down by mistake. We could take a picture of it. Um, and here what we have is a just previous frame, next frame in case we want to be able to capture that right moment. Uh, last but not least, we have the ability of adding filters to this. And then you can just export it and it becomes a new file format. I'm not going to change anything to it right now, but what I wanted to show you guys here is you can also select the output format. It has a massive library of formats that you can actually use. I'm just going to go with the general ones as you can go to audio, HD, DVD format, web format, Apple, Samsung, HTC, all of the main, main formats. Uh, but the main general ones that I like is MP4 is something I normally work with all the time. You can go to AVI, 3GP or 3GP2. Uh, this is great if you want to convert these files and put them on your tablets because you can put them on those tablets and start using them. Uh, so you can go to like a Samsung tablet, you know, the Note Pro. Uh, you can even put it for a format that will work on the TVs at a higher resolution if your original file can support it. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stick with uh, MP4, but again, you can decide which ones you'd like. Uh, and once you're done here, you can select the folder that you want to uh, put it in and then just say run. Um, and it's actually pretty quick as far as the format will what it really kind of does. Um, we'll give it a few seconds to process here. Uh, it can't be converted. Please click OK to continue. We'll try it one more time. Um, and I'm just going to bring my file one last time here. I'm just going to say run. File was converted. We'll say yes. It opens up the actual output fol uh, folder and you're able to basically open up the file and use it as you can see here. And the quality is not, there's no loss in quality, which is really, really nice. Uh, after this, we're going to get out of here. Uh, the main benefit of what you see here essentially is that you can add these things. But let's say I want to add two files. And then we'll go in, we'll add those in directly into the actual timeline. Um, you'll notice they're both checked in and I have the option here of merging them, meaning making them into one straight file. So I can put in the output for two files into one or four files into one, again, keeping the output format. Very nice, very simple, easy to use. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys here is, uh, and I'll get back to downloading video, is deloading the DVD. Uh, you can actually back up your purchased DVDs, your own DVDs, into a format that you can put on your tablets, your devices, so you can enjoy them and not have to buy them again. You own the, you own the video, so you should be able to do it. Um, I did a testing DVD here for me. Uh, I'm just going to say yes because it needs to clear the uh, actual timeline process. It's going to analyze the DVD and give me the tracks. Of course, I have one here. I can edit if you'd like, or I can just go ahead and straight and do an export of it. Again, same location folder and then I can merge multiple ones if there is any. Uh, nothing big but it does actually work pretty well um, and you can allocate certain settings to it. The last thing I want to show you guys as far as some of the main benefits here is downloading videos. Now this is downloading videos that you know obviously uh, I produce a lot of videos on, on YouTube and that's one of the things I actually uh, sometimes I don't have the originals anymore. So what I do here is I went ahead and I'm using this video itself. This is my intro video to my channel. Um, I pasted the actual link here as you can see it matches the top and I just hit analyze and it analyzed it and it basically gives me uh, a different formats of what I'd like to do. So I can go by 854 by 480, 380 
and then uh, just select the format that I like and it tells me roughly about how, how big the size is going to be and I can just go ahead and hit download you'll notice it'll go through process it and I, that way I just backed up my video and I don't have to worry about it um, just to be able to download my initial video uh, I'll go ahead and cancel this just because I still have that video it's not an issue Last thing I want to show you real quick is we also have the ability of doing ringtones. So this is for Android or iOS. Um, you can actually just copy over the uh, MP3. I'm sure you guys, I'm hoping you guys were able to listen. You can trim it down to where you needed, um, and then it'll just say play the selection and then create it for either a ringtone or an SMS ringtone. Overall, it'll just save the actual file for you to transfer over to your device. Very simple and again, very easy. Uh, as far as setups, what you have, uh, you have the options here to be able to set up your conversions, your DVD ripping, your download conversions, and so on, and you can reset things to default if you need to. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have the ability here to have some troubleshooting. So if you have any problems, yeah, these are just links to their site, and they'll give you access to what you need to be able to do any of this information. If you have problems playing uh, videos, ripping videos, downloading video, or converting videos. Uh, sorry, we just did that one. Uh, last thing here, we have just, you know, check for updates. Per, uh, register. Once you guys download the app, actual free copy that I'll give you guys a link in the description below, uh, make sure you use this option, say register to add the code so that it activates the application for you. And it will come with six months worth of free updates. So that's really cool. And after the six months, the application will keep working. It's just you won't receive any more additional updates unless you purchase a full license after that. And of course, you can minimize and close. Uh, and then here's the settings. Basically, again, you can change the frame rate, the audio, advance, um, and then just save as if you need to set up as a separate uh, you know, profile. Check the link in the description below to download the application. Use the code and you'll have six months worth of updates that are available for the application itself. The application will still work after the six months, there's just no additional updates. And if you do want to get that, that's something that you could do it later on and purchase another copy. Uh, other than that, I want to say thank you very much to WonderFox uh, for providing us a free copy. Uh, this is a really good functional application. You can back up your own content. Um, my main thing would be is uh, when I, you know, we buy DVDs and we have things that we have like classics that we want to be able to put on our tablets, but I don't want to have to buy it again or rent it for $3.99 just to be able to put it on my tablet or on my phone. Uh, I can just basically use the software, back it up directly into my device. Um, and again, I'll have it here. It's digital. It's a copy that I own. Um, and then of course, downloading and backing up your own videos from YouTube is something that it's very functional, uh, mostly because sometimes when you want to you know, store uh, information on your device or on your hard drive, you run out of space and you start deleting things. So for me, it's really good for me. I can download that, especially when I'm using clips from other videos. It's easy for me to download that content. Um, and of course, file uh, video conversion is really good, compatible with many, many things. So many good things I could say about this, but again, uh, check it out. You could try it out again. If you don't like it, you know, that's up to you, but it's free. So check the link in the description below. Thank you, WonderFox, for providing us this copy for free. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like and subscribe and share as this is a free copy. So you really can't really hurt any yourself or anybody else by just giving them. They could try it out, see what they think. And I'll see you guys in the next one.